Hey everyone, it's your girl Regina, and I hope you all had a really wonderful holiday. I know I did, but right now, I have to tell you, I am having a blast with this Frosty 5K. Have you seen the pictures? They are hysterical. It has brought out people across the country, from other states even, and people are dressing up and going out and communicating again. It's it's like normalcy, you know, it, when we haven't had anything normal. So I want to really encourage you, if you haven't already signed up to do the Frosty 5K, definitely do it. You don't have to run it. You can walk it. You can um, do the elliptical. You can do a stair climber. It doesn't matter as long as you complete the distance. And I want you to see what I'm talking about because we're, we're like talking smack and having a good time. It, it is so much fun. So with that being said, I want to talk about today ways that you can enhance this workout that you're already doing with a few supplements. So many of us know about post-workout supplements, a little bit of protein, some carbs in a supplement uh, within an hour after you finish working out, and that'll do it. And even things that you can take during your workout, like gels and gummies to help you with endurance during that whole time. But pre-workouts are now really beginning to saturate the market. And it's because they promise everything. I mean, more power, more endurance. Uh, you can work harder, build more muscle, uh, be stronger. And um, they're, they're offering it to you in powders and pills and, and everything. And really what they are are stimulants. And a company can put up to a dozen different stimulants into something to um, give you that energy. What it really boils down to is caffeine. And so I want to talk about the pros and cons of, of taking this because there are some things that you should look out for. Because it is a stimulant, it's going to affect your nervous system. And so, yes, it's going to make your workouts feel like less work. But I want you to pay attention to the dosage. You only want to get about two to six milligrams per kilogram of your body weight. And then you want to time the digestion. So if you think that it takes about 45 to 60 minutes for your coffee to digest in your body, you want to try and give it at least like 30 minutes for digestion. If you have pre-existing conditions, you definitely want to talk to your doctor before you try any kind of supplement, particularly these pre-workouts, because the stimulants are going to affect everyone differently. Some people might feel a little jittery. If you have heart issues, it could really be a problem. So you want to talk to a doctor, but more importantly, you want to check those labels because they can mix a lot of different things. And some of those ingredients can be banned substances. So check the labels, make sure you know what you're getting. One of the most popular stimulants used is creatine. This can help pump up your power and improve your training results. But again, always be careful about what they're putting into the supplements. Another thing to look for is nitric oxide. Now this will help to deliver more oxygen to your blood vessels. What it does is it helps you feel stronger through tough sessions by widening your blood vessels, delivering more oxygen to your muscles. You can do this or you can try eating beets. It's natural, plus it does the same thing. Speaking of which, you can also gain weight by taking pre-workouts because another key ingredient is sugar. And as they add more sugar, it can help you add more weight. So try and keep it to about 100 calories per serving. That way you can kind of modify how much you really need or don't need. Or you can try eating a banana with a little bit of peanut butter or any nut butter that you like. And, and this should also give you that energy, that boost you need to get through your workout. Another key ingredient to look for are amino acids. Now, what amino acids do are they try to um, stop the breakdown of your muscles. And this is really, really good. But you don't necessarily need amino acids. You can take something natural like green tea or tart cherry juice. 
it all comes down to if you're going to use a pre-workout supplement, make sure you're an informed consumer. Read the labels. Know what you're putting in your body because we don't want to do more harm than we do good. And if you can go for a natural alternative, then I personally suggest that. I believe that plant-based is always better because we know what it is, right? We know bananas, we know beets, we know tart cherry juice versus anything else someone might manufacture. So with that being said, you can always hit me up with questions or comments at Philly Fit Chick on Instagram or right here. Until then, I hope you all stay safe. I hope you all stay happy and most importantly, healthy. See ya.